How and why have you got involved in the Irish um, Science Week? Well, I think it's partly it may have been because I was born here. Somebody, I think, was looking through their files mm-hmm. and they found out that this chap, Snow, who presents Tomorrow's World, um, is uh, Irish. Peter, you yourself have had a, quite a chequered career. Um, you've worked for ITN and for the BBC, and of course you pre- uh, presented Tomorrow's World. Um, if I had to put you on the spot, what has been your uh, favourite? I think really the most important has been Newsnight. And how did the change come about from the newsroom to science for you? Uh, well, just quite simply that um, a friend of mine was working on Newsnight, and uh, uh, she went and became head of science. And she said to me, you know, I think it would be a very good idea if you came and presented tomorrow's world. And uh, you seem to be famous for your amazing use of the um, swingometer. <laughs> I mean, how, how did that come about? And, and it does surprise you that people associate you with that? Uh, well, I started covering elections back in the 1970s. And we quickly realized that computer graphics were a very exciting way of giving people the results in pictures in real time. I could press a button and the whole country would light up with the forecast results in all the seats. Enormously exciting technology. And of course, translating the swingometer, which in the old days, and I may say I didn't invent the swingometer for a moment, it was invented by Rod McKenzie and David Butler way back in the 50s. Translating that into, into, into modern technology, into modern computer graphics, was a great and exciting challenge. Of course, what we did was we had the pendulum moving not over a piece of cardboard, but over seats in the House of Commons that changed colour depending on which way the swing was going. And that, of course, was enormously exciting.